So to prepare my brioche dough, I'm going to use yeast madre activa, like one teaspoon of this, one egg, 120 gram of white sugar, 120 gram of milk, milk, 120 gram of water, aqua, burro that is butter, but I'm going to use just 30 gram, just a little bit from this for this dough. And then I have farina tipo zero zero. That is farina that nothing has been added to it. And another kind of farina here is farina di uh, farina manitoba. So I'm going to use this 260 gram and 260. So to my egg, this is one whole egg in re. This is from the fridge, and I'm going to add my sugar, all of it. Add my milk, all of it. And just mix them all together. My yeast. So just mix them all together here. Inside of it. inside the other one, so I'm going to mix them all together. Uh -oh. I just sliced just a tiny bit from so what I'm doing is I'm mashing in a liquid one. So I will be adding this amount of sea salt. And try to incorporate them all together. My water, all the come. So, put this for 10 minutes, and I'll show you how it looks like. Skin of orange. So, there, there. So, I'm going to try to hold them all together. Look at how my dough is. That. Like this, cover it up and leave it for two hours. My balls removed just a piece here for the dough. This moment, I'm just going to slice. So, to this, I'm going to just, I'm using this. of the bottle now I'm going to close it up and put it back to the fridge and when my dough is ready then I'll show you what I'm going to do with it my dough have risen up a bit roll it down to have a square shape if you find out that the shape is not coming, use your hand to adjust mm. it. In this case, this my bar has been inside the fridge. Also, so what I would do is just make sure that you remove all this and not leave any one behind. So just like an envelope, like you would normally close up an envelope. So since it's this way, I'm just going to do it. 
go gradually but at the same time go really fast because we don't want the butter to melt what i'm going to do is just there remember that the end of your fold should always stay on the right pop this inside the fridge half an hour and i'll show you it's 30 minutes after this can you hear me always have to fold it when you so I'm going to pop it inside the fridge again so I'm going to put it right inside the fridge for 30 minutes it out. I'm removing I've rolled it down here I am still like normal always just Put it there and bring it down there. I'm going to wrap it up, then put it inside the fridge and leave it for 30 minutes also. So you have to continue just like I've been doing. Maybe you have to do something cool, go to work. You can even leave it there till your back and you continue the step. And just remember when you do it up to six time, then you will see the texture of your brioche. If you don't have time, just do the first round or the second round pop it inside your fridge leave it even for hours till your back but remember to roll it and fold it six good times then the sixth time then it's ready i'll show you when i finish up the sixth time now i am in the third time and really because it's getting late the fourth time or the fifth time, I'm going to leave it in my fridge overnight and then do the final round in the morning. And I'll show you everything later. See you soon. I left it in my fridge overnight when I did like the last round. And today, being the last day of our work, we're going to roll it. Uh, you can see a little pocket that should always stay there. Let's roll. <laughs> it's so like hard. Just press it down a bit since it's a bit hard. like we will normally roll it i'm going to divide it into half like that put it into three steel pop this inside the fridge and continue with this in this case like you can see the length of what i'm doing i want to cut just to do the shorter form of brioche so I'm splicing it into two equal parts there so what I do with this one is I try to make it as wide as possible to do then and from here This one have that shape already, you see. I put my chocolate there. My chopped chocolate. You can use whatever you want, nothing so special. Just try 
to make sure that they are closed then while getting close draw it up Okay, so with this one, I'm applying whatever you are uh, you have. Make sure that draw here so that it becomes like this, this shape. to put it up just like that You just have to pinch. So we are going to leave them here for two hours. I normally I put mine in my oven. And you see the pinching of the two ends will loosen by themselves. An 80 degree. So I'm going to get this for. 15 to 20 minutes so after 20 minutes my brush is ready like seriously out from the oven so my brush is ready i just opened up this one to show you you see how it is inside it has a volume like you can twist it out that is what the folding and leaving does it's not like normal cake okay. this one is the chocolate for example if we want to use this just when you open it it should be like this inside see Exactly like this and there. 